Hello everybody and welcome to Bull Technology. I use web browsers. A lot. On any given day, I primarily use Apple's Safari web browser, Google's Chrome web browser, and Mozilla's Firefox web browser. I love Safari's integration with all of my Apple devices and its terrific password management system. Chrome is great for anything Google related and Firefox's privacy and security features are superb. But recently I have been inundated with ads promoting a new web browser from Opera. It goes by the name Opera GX and it is exclusively targeted at gamers for its design and performance optimization. Is Opera GX worth your time? Let's find out. And in the interest of full disclosure, I am not being paid for this review, and all of the opinions you are about to hear are entirely my own, unlike PewDiePie. Before we get into using Opera GX, let's first review some of the claims made by Opera about their new browser. As you can see on their website, they are clearly targeting this browser toward gamers, um, and it's nice to see that a mobile version of this browser is available. Uh, they say here that the browser includes unique features like CPU, RAM, and network limiters to help get the most out of both gaming and browsing. More on that later. Um, Opera also claims that Opera GX has a, quote, award-winning design. <laughs> Uh, again, more on that later. Uh, they also seem to really be putting an emphasis on making switching from another browser easy. Uh, and apart from those pretty vague platitudes, uh, they don't really seem to be making any other distinctions between their browser and their competitors. Uh, but anyway, I think it's time to install Opera GX. For testing purposes today, I will be using this 2021 M1 based iMac with 16 gigabytes of RAM. This is by far and away the fastest computer on the web that I own, and I don't play games on this computer, so today I will be reviewing this browser from a normal person's perspective. Good news if you are low on disk space, um, Opera GX, after using it for about two days, is only about 270 megabytes in file size, which is smaller than both Chrome and Firefox. In this review, I would like to focus on three aspects that I feel are important to all web browsers, but in particular, this web browser, because of Opera's bold marketing. Uh, the three things I'd like to focus on are design, the resource usage of the browser, and overall features of the browser. First, we're gonna talk about design. Uh, when I first booted up Opera GX, I was a little overwhelmed by the design. Uh, in short, the design is just horribly poor. Uh, along with realigning the window control buttons in macOS, uh, GX features a sidebar that has various functions such as Twitch integration, hardware limiters for performance, and an array of other features, um, all of which I found entirely useless. When I use a web browser, I expect the main focus of the browser to be on my content rather than the design of the browser itself, and this is something that GX does poorly. Uh, the standard themes with their bizarre shapes and colors give the user interface a clunky and outdated feel, not exactly what I'd consider quote-unquote award-winning. Another quote feature of GX is the GX Corner, which features gaming news, a gaming calendar, and a deals section. Uh, all of this information can be found on gaming websites and are not necessary to have in the tab bar by default. Uh, in honesty, even if I did use this iMac for gaming, because I do game quite a bit, um, I definitely would not use this feature. Another annoyance is what Opera GX calls browser sounds. In essence, Opera GX will play sounds every time you click a button, change a toggle switch, or open a new tab. I am all for user feedback in software. I think it's a great thing, but I think Opera GX's implementation of sounds for each button click is at best gimmicky. But by far and away the worst design offense is the browser settings, and this is something that I also have a complaint with Firefox about. Uh, what can I say? When you drill into a setting and then press back to the main settings window, it sends you back to the top and the scroll history is not retained. Uh, the organization of the settings makes little sense and there's really no setting to make the home page another web page. 
uh, the privacy options are just a joke, and it took me ages to find out how to disable the photograph on the background of the home page, which Opera GX calls the speed dial for some reason. Um, and speed dial is also another complaint of mine. I mean, just look at this start page and tell me what is award-winning about this start page. Where are the web address icons? They just don't exist. So let me summarize Opera GX's design here. The design is terrible. When it comes to the resource usage of Opera GX, I will discuss how demanding GX is without the use of software limiters that are built into Opera GX. Uh, we will discuss the software limiters in a bit. I want to test how the raw system resource usage is because what good are RAM, CPU, and network limiters if the overall browser itself uses more system resources than other browsers? Uh, I was also curious to see if the added quote-unquote features of GX impacted the amount of system resources it had to use. For this test, I decided to pull up two tabs in each browser. Each browser's default start page and the YouTube home page. Uh, using Activity Monitor, we can track the amount of CPU and RAM usage of each browser. Uh, first, in a head-to-head -head test with Apple's Safari, we can see that Opera GX uses almost twice the amount of RAM as Safari and way more of the system CPU, about 0.61%. Um, I'm going to admit, this completely surprised me as Opera GX is optimized for the M1 chip. Again, we compared the same tabs open in Opera to, this time, Google Chrome, and again, Chrome used less system resources than that of Opera, about a third less RAM and way less CPU usage. Uh, unfortunately, Firefox wasn't registering the activity monitor for this test for whatever reason, and so for that, we'll just go ahead and give the win to Opera here. Uh, but the overall trend is, after letting them sit for quite a bit, uh, that Opera GX doesn't consume far less system resources. In fact, Opera GX seems to chew through slightly more system resources than both Safari and Google Chrome. Of course, we couldn't test Firefox here. Uh, so when it comes to the system resource usage, I really can't see any huge advantage to switching to Opera GX over other browsers. Finally, let's talk about features, and this is where Opera GX can gain some ground. I'll first discuss the GX control features that allow for monitoring and limiting of RAM and network usage. Uh, the RAM limiter and cap seem to work well, so while yes, at idle, the system resource usage of Opera is higher than, say, Google Chrome or Safari, you can at least limit the amount of RAM that GX uses, though this might hurt browsing performance. Um, as previously mentioned, I don't game on this computer, but if I was, say, exporting and rendering a video in Final Cut Pro and I needed all the RAM I could get, I could definitely see this as somewhat useful. Another somewhat useful feature is the mini player that allows the user to pop out any video content and play it detached from the web browser. Uh, this is a cool feature that reminds me of something on iOS, uh, and I could definitely see myself using this on a device with one display. Uh, GX also provides a screenshot tool which might be useful to Windows users that don't have a system-wide keyboard shortcut for taking screenshots. Sadly, in other feature areas, though, GX definitely falls flat. Um, as previously mentioned, the amount of privacy features is severely limited, and the other sidebar functions and GX corner feel gimmicky and are kind of a waste of both resources and space. Not entirely useful to someone like me. Um, overall, when it comes to GX's features, I would rate them as fair or okay. So all things considered, how do I feel about Opera GX? In a word, it's subpar. Is it usable? Sure, but other web browsers do the web browser better. They are better designed, they have more features, and they are more efficient and well designed. So sadly, Opera GX will not make its way into my browser use list. As for recommendations, would I recommend GX to everyday people? Uh, no. And would I recommend GX to gamers? Well, again, no. And my overall recommendations are, I think ordinary people and gamers alike want something that is simple and efficient. And unfortunately, Opera GX is just not that. 
Uh, so that's my review and final verdict of Opera GX, the new web browser from Opera. Uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and as always, thank you all for watching.